Okay, let's do this one more time. Hey guys, welcome back to Camp Geeks. And I've been asked by several people in several different ways, um, a couple different ideas. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and do this one more time. So we're still gonna do, the, we're gonna do one more wind test. And I'm trying to keep everything the same, so I'm gonna use the same exact amount of water, uh, same tap, 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 for the, for our tap temperature for the most part. Um, we're gonna do the, the speed test. I'm gonna do the speed test one more time. I'm just gonna skip, I'm gonna fast forward the whole thing really fast. Um, speed test and then I'm also going to do efficiency test however I'm going to change this up a little bit for my last efficiency test in that I'm going to use the same fuel so I'm going to use the Primus winter gas just because I have a large canister of it so it gives us the best measure of the efficiency of all three stoves against each other of course if you as long as we use the same fuel it shouldn't be a different uh, rather than using each brand's individual fuel um, that's what I decided on so that's what I'm going to go with uh, we're going to probably do in the same order, the MSR, the Primus, and then the Jetboil uh, with the fan going. And we're going to get as accurate as we can. Uh, but I'm not going to bore you with all the talk in between. We're just going to get it done. And then we'll come back with the results. So I'm not going to show you all the video. We're just going to go right through it. And then we'll come back at the end. Well, that was a fun experience. Um, again, just like last time, the MSR just whooped them, to be honest. It seems to be not very affected by wind at all. It's, it's about as efficient in the wind as it is out of the wind. So uh, the nice thing about the MSR is if you're in open area, you don't have to have a windscreen with you or anything. It's, it's great just like it is without touching it. Now, of course, I did all of them with the same fuel canister. Um, I would say that the one thing that I will mention that could be a flaw in my design here is that um, obviously I, as the canister gets lower, it's probably not going to have the same efficiency or same f fuel push out. So while I did do the MSR first, uh, Primus second, and Jetboil third, uh, maybe the amount of fuel that was squeezed out of the canister wasn't quite as good with that one as it was the first one. So obviously if I was going to do this without any bias at all, I'd have three exact fuel canisters, same brand new. And that would be the only way I could do it otherwise. Uh, but that said, um, without beating a dead horse, MSR did it again in 2 minutes, 27 seconds, 41 milliseconds. I don't need to get too crazy about that. However, um, the fuel efficiency, 6.4 grams of fuel used to get that sucker boiling. Rapid boil again, not just when the bubbles start, rapid boil. Um, Primus did it in 7 minutes, 19 seconds, which actually is quite a bit worse than it was last time and i don't know if it's just got more wind where i was had it placed uh, but last time i did it we were at five minutes five and a half minutes so over seven minutes this time uh 12 grams of fuel literally almost double the amount of fuel that you would use on the msr so again windy situation you better get this thing in something where it's covered uh, because it needs a wind block uh, jet boil, uh, also not as good. Uh, 3 minutes, 35 seconds, 42 milliseconds. However, what actually I didn't see coming, 10.2 grams of fuel to get there. Uh, the jet boil is fast and it's very efficient as long as you don't have wind. But as soon as you get the wind in there, 
it's still obviously faster than the the Primus, but it sucks on fuel because uh, seven over seven minutes to get twelve grams of fuel, only three and a half minutes to get ten grams of fuel. So if you went the full seven minutes, this would consume over twice as much probably as what this does. So that's something to keep in mind. It's nothing against Jetboil. It's just that they're going for rapid speed and rapid capability. And to be honest, Primus isn't going for uh, the uh, fastest stove on the earth. It's not a crazy system like these two. These two are built for boiling water. This has a lot more simmer control. Uh, like I said in previous videos, on the Primus, I've cooked eggs in this. It, it worked. It didn't burn them. Um, I did have a lot of eggs stuck to the can. Uh, but I could do it. I really couldn't do that with these without burning the living heck out of them. So, uh, with that said, there are no, no huge winners here other than if I'm going where it's a windy scenario, I am taking the wind burner with me. There is no doubt in my mind that this thing is a wind champion. If I'm going in a spot where speed is of essence and I can get make my own break if nothing else, I'm in a situation where I'm just about getting as fast as possible, then the jet boil is going to take me there because it is fast. It is really fast. Even when it's not efficient, it is decently fast. Uh, I was only a minute behind the MSR. Um, and if I'm looking for controllability, then I'm looking at the light plus out of these three systems. These are, can these are, are complete systems. These aren't where you buy the stove and everything independently. As a system, the, the Light Plus definitely has the most control out of it. So, excuse me. With that said, if you have any other questions or comments, post those below. If you want me to do another video with another set of tests, let me know below. Uh, otherwise, subscribe, like, and share this if you can for me. That way we get it out there. But again, another good set of videos. So, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for checking this out. Thanks, fan. We'll see you next time.